Okay, so welcome. Um, super excited to be on tonight. I This kind of came to mind as I was doing the shift shop preview and thought to myself, holy crap, I need the performance line with this workout. And Mike was truthfully the first person that came to mind. Um, he is local to me, so I had the pleasure of working with him on Market Council. And um, he is, if you guys have done 22 Minute Hardcore, He's in 22 Minute Hardcore, which is awesome. He's been a coach for eight years. He's a dad of three, um, a husband, um, a success club, all-star legend at 61 months. If that's not consistency, I don't know what is. Um, he's a three-star coach at his first CBC and a one-star in his second CBC. He has tw over 20 years as an OR nurse, and he was, um, I don't think of he'll call it a he was telling me an operating nurse in the army but there were there were no operating rooms right so when he was overseas he was operating where he could operate and help people so he's going to tell us a little bit about the performance line hopefully a little bit about his story because he's super interesting and awesome to talk to and just an overall great human being so i'm excited that mike is with us and i will let him take it away all right thank you very much First of all, guys, I just want to let you all know that I, I completely did not prepare for this call. I don't prepare for anything I ever talked about because I'm going to share with you what my experience is and I don't need to write it down and stuff. So let's go back in time to July 2015. How many of you were coaches in July 2015? Just show your hands. How many were not coaches in July 2015? Okay, cool. So July 2015 was Summit. Okay, we were in Nashville. And they had this big, long video about the performance line, okay? And I, at that time, I was in between, I, I had auditioned for 22-Minute Hardcore. I got accepted for the part, and I had a rehearsal coming up at the end of July after Summit, and then we were filming the second week of August. So I'm like, oh, cool, all right. I sat in my seat. And I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm listening to the stories about how the guys from Harvard and all this crap and stuff like that. And then they showed the prices of the performance line and my jaw just went, oh my God. All right. So I said, all right, listen, the stuff sounds pretty good. And I'm like, I'm a team player. So I always love to try everything out once. So I said, I'll buy the tubs here at Summit because they were going on sale and I'll use them throughout the filming. And then I'll go back to my E&E &E and results of recovery uh, formula cocktail that I was using. So I started using this stuff right away. And, the, and, and anybody who've ever, has anybody not ever used Energize show of hands? Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna go up the line. I'm gonna talk about each performance formula individually, okay? Um, I, I already said that I will stay on this call as long as you guys have questions. So there's no timeline here. Um, Energize. I, I have to admit, I'm addicted to it. Sitting here today, I'm completely addicted to Energize. Um, the first time I used it, I started getting all these little tinglies around my mouth, and they kind of went down the left side of my neck, and I was like, holy crap. This, I don't drink coffee, so I didn't realize the caffeine bolus that I was getting when I first started using it. And it was different then from E&E. &E. Has anybody ever used E&E &E in the past? couple of you all right so e and e was that pre energy and endurance formula and i would use that before good workouts okay at the time i was uh, rehearsing for cardio two and resistance two and we had to do maximum reps uh, they wanted us to do maximum reps all three rounds under 22 minutes that was what we had to practice at and then and then we had to add a fourth rep a fourth round which was whether it was cardio a cardio day we'd add a resistance to, to it or vice versa resistance to cardio. So I started using the Energize and I noticed right away that my performance, my, my, my stats, my time was going down. Okay, so that was something right away um, that I used, uh, noticed first about the Energize. Now, do you, people would always ask, do you use Energize when you do yoga? Mike Malali, yes, I use Energize before yoga. And there's a, there's a reason. Like I said, I don't drink coffee. Okay, and now using the performance formulas for almost two years, it's, if I don't have Energize, I get a massive migraine. Okay, talk about that later. But so anyway, I'll use Energize for yoga. Why? Because it wakes me up. I exercise at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. every morning. So if I'm getting out of bed, I, I, I need to be awake. And that, that 
Energize, if you haven't tried it, is if, especially if you exercise in the morning, um, I like to exercise on an empty stomach. I don't feel like having food in my system while I'm doing plyometrics or any kind of cardio whatsoever. It's just not my thing. So Energize works. Hydrate, okay? Hydrate. So that's, that's kind of like the Gatorade, the Gatorade of the performance formulas. Um, again, I bought that too. And I'm like, all right, I was usually just using water. I am not going to lie to you. At first, I was like, okay, I really don't need this because I'm exercising less than 22 minutes. And yeah, it tastes good, you know, but I think for what Energize is made for, is made for the shift shops. It's made for the hammer and chisels. Um, do I drink it when I was doing 22 minute hardcore? Of course I was. Uh, you know, um, did anybody do that new workout today? Show of hands. Holy crap, I sucked down 16 ounces of hydrate. That was a very humbling experience, okay? I don't want to. I don't want to get off course here and, and talk about Sean Week, but that was a very humbling experience today. And when it says basic, I think we got a lot in store for us this week. So hydrate, perfect workout. That's just an example. Um, I'm currently doing P90X2, 63 minute workouts, 52 minute workouts. Hydrate, awesome um, for that. Here's a little caveat with hydrate. Okay, if anyone's taking notes, um, over the winter. Okay, a couple people who I know who are coaches got the flu. Okay, they got the flu. One of my kids got really sick. And guess what I gave him? Not Pedialyte, not Gatorade. I gave him Hydrate. And the coaches used Hydrate as well. And they recovered quicker. Okay, there's a lot of, there's a lot of electrolytes. Basically, Hydrate is, is, is the good electrolytes. Okay, it's not the processed sugars and all that stuff that you get in Gatorade, Pedialyte. Um, Hydrate worked awesome for that. Does the company back that up? No. But statistically, everybody who used Hydrate who got really sick, especially for dehydration. If, if um, <laughs> Punta Cana. Anybody go to Punta Cana? Anybody get sick who went to Punta Cana? I was drinking Hydrate. Like, like I went through an entire bottle of Hydrate in like a week and a half because I was so sick from, from that trip. Um, so dehydration. Hydrate by far. Off, off the charts. Uh, you know, water's obviously water's always good, but sometimes when you're, if you're, if you have GI issues or um, sweating, hydrate has everything that you need to definitely replenish all those electrolytes, electrolytes that you're losing while you're working out. Recover, okay. Who has not tried chocolate recover? Okay, chocolate recover tastes like a yoo-hoo. Okay. Hopefully you guys have tried a Yoohoo in the past. They're delicious. They're one of my, they're one of my, I'll sneak a Yoohoo in when no one's looking any day of the week. I'll chug that sucker. Like it's my job. Um, so it tastes like a Yoohoo. All right. It's wicked good for you. It's got like 20 grams of protein in it. Um, you don't need a lot of fluids with it. I mix mine with eight ounces. Um, and I'm usually bummed out because I can't help myself from drinking it so fast and it's over before I know it. Um, but it's really good. The orange recover. Um, last year I hosted a coach national wake up call. I think it was in April about the performance formulas. I, I, I co-hosted it with Dr. Nima and they sent me, it was actually the day they launched the orange recover and they sent me a couple packets of it, samples of it. Um, it, it was good. It tastes like a, a, a creamsicle. If anybody likes creamsicles. Um, that was, that, that was my experience with, um, the orange. Did I switch flavors? No, I, I, I stuck with chocolate. So um, I know people who had put like ice cubes with the um, orange recover, and it, it reminds them of a lot of the results of recovery formula. Um, the re results in recovery formula for anybody, the, the, uh, and I don't mean this to be but you know, disrespectful, but the newbies, the results of recovery formula was four times the sugar to the protein. Okay, so it was four to one. It was a four to one ratio. And the science behind that, at the time, because everything changes, was that you know your body needs more sugars post workout to you know get the proteins to where they need to go and stuff like that. This this the 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 new recover formula is four times less uh, sugar than the results in recovery formula. So that's just a little bit of a ingredient kind of thing comparison uh, between the two. Um, I personally love chocolate. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know make say that orange tastes bad but um but uh i mean I, i'm not gonna switch i'm not gonna switch 
Um, I'm going to say re, uh, recharge for last because it's my favorite. Creatine. Okay. Creatine is like that fifth um, kind of performance formula that doesn't get the credit that it deserves. I've used other creatines in the past where um, you cycle with it, which means you, you don't use it all the time. You probably use it for like a month or two at a time. And then you stop for a month or two because creatine does a number on your kidneys. Um, one of the safety factors with creatine is you need to really drink a lot of water throughout the day. Um, seriously. And another thing too, the, the, uh, the recommendations on the, the beach body creatine is five grams or two scoops. If you weigh more than 160 is, is, is two is, I'm sorry, 10 grams. That's a lot of creatine. Um, I was only doing one scoop. I would do one scoop. Um, while I was, while we were training for the filming at 20 minute hardcore, I was doing two scoops and I would say five out of the seven days a week, I was waking up in the middle of the night with severe, massive calf cramps. And that was definitely from the creatine usage. So I downed it to one scoop. I've never gone more than one scoop. Um, and again, I, I'm going to stress to you all, you, you need to really, really drink a lot of water throughout the day. Um, th there's a little bit of a, uh, um, I don't know, debate about when to use the creatine. I personally mix my creatine with my Energize. So I do two scoops of Energize, a packet of creatine, shake it up, pre-workout. Some people were taking the creatine and they were putting it in their, their recover after their workout. So I don't think there's any right or wrong answer as long as you're using the creatine either right before a workout or right after a workout. So it's that window. You don't want to take creatine, you know, before you go to bed, you know, just and not work out until the next day. I wouldn't, I strongly wouldn't recommend that. Cause you, like, I, like I said, while you sleep at night, you dehydrate. So you really, um, you want to protect your kidneys. Okay. That's what it, that's, that's the science uh, physiology with that. You know, you really want to protect your kidneys. Um, I had one more point about the creatine. Oh Yeah. So I've tried other creatines in the past and this creatine, if anybody's ever concerned about bloating, uh, from, a, from a supplement, um, I, I didn't have any, I've never had any, you know, knock on wood. I've never had any blo bloating from using this creatine, um, from the performance formula. I have not been using creatine faithfully the last two years. Okay. I use it in spurts. I've been using it while I've been doing P90X2. Um, as soon as I'm done this program, I don't know what I'm doing. It's probably going to be shift shop. I'm not going to use creatine during shift shop. Um, Can I ask a question on the creatine? Absolutely. So what absolutely. does it, like, what does it actually do for you? It, it helps keep, it retains the water in the muscle. It, you recover quicker, but, you know, you kind of, you can, you, can, you can exercise, high endurance exercises, you know, every day. You, 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 you'll, um, you recover, like I said, you recover quicker. You walk around, you know, you'll, you'll be, your muscles will be more defined using the creatine. A lot of the creatine supplements I've used in the past, um, when I stopped, I gained weight. The muscle went, you know, the muscle, the, the, the water was released. Um, and, you know, all that definition now was filling up space with not so cool stuff. So that was one of the, 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 I was a little skeptical in the beginning using creatine because of my history using creatine in the past, but I wanted to give it a shot because it's beach body and I trust our products. Um, so that's, that's, you know, I, the only thing that I was having issues with, with our product was the leg cramps. And I wish they would not tell people to use 10 grams because that's, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of creatine. Our bodies produce creatine and that's a lot. I think that's a maximum over maximum dosage for our kidneys to handle. So um, that, that's, that was just my only concern with that. Okay. And what is the <laughs> recover? I know you said it tastes like a yoo but what is it do for you? Recover again, it's, it's, it, it's that, that protein it's, it's 20 grams of protein. Uh, there's also, it's a funky, you know, names in it that, that are all basically it, they target the muscles. It, you know, when we exercise, you know, we break down muscle and it has to heal. It helps the healing process. Um, and you know, it's completely backed by, you know, with all the Harvard doctors and stuff like that. Um, all I know is that I, 
I've been injured in the past during P90X or I've been injured in the past doing Insanity Asylum or any of our other programs that, like that in the past. Um, I got injured on my third week of doing Body Beast and I haven't touched the program since. Um, I, I gave up lifting heavy weights like that and, and I was using results of recovery formula, formula back then. So, I mean, I, I, I haven't really tested, you know, more than a sandbag in my body weight. So the recover, again, it tastes good. And, you know, I, like I said, I haven't had any kind of issues injury wise um, outside of our beach body programs themselves. I mean, you know, sometimes pro- improper form can, can lead to injury or, or overdoing it too. If you over exercise, you over train, you can actually cause injury as well. Um, so, but yeah, th- that's the main thing with the recover again. So, so for instance, if you're doing a half hour workout guys, you got to get that recovery in your system within 30 minutes post-workout. So it's a, it's a minute for minute. Okay. So if you're doing 22 minute hardcore and then a nine minute cardio, I mean, a core, you know, workout, get it in within 30 minutes post-workout. Okay. Otherwise it's just, you, you just drink, <laughs> you know, it's not, the stuff's not cheap. So you only get 20 servings in the tub. So you just drank like, you know, a $4 yoo for nothing. So um, that's, that's the main the main uh does anybody not know that or did you guys all know that okay cool yeah um melissa asked you just asked on our thread i know oh, you this but i'll let you answer it if recover replaces shakeology if recover replaces shakeology uh, it, is the question in regards to like you've used shakeology as a post workout or i don't know not? melissa do you use it as a post workout or are you Go ahead and unmute yourself for a second, Melissa. Yeah, I usually drink it right after I work out in the mornings. I mean, there's 17, 16 grams of protein in Shakeology. Mm-hmm. Um, so you don't use it as a meal replacement? Um, not really. I mean, kind of, but I still wind up eating breakfast like an hour and a half later. So, no, I mean, it's not really a meal replacement. No. What, are you, what are you putting in it? Um. I used half a cup of water and half a cup of um, unsweetened almond milk. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty expensive recover, but if, that, <laughs> if it's working for you, if you're, if you're not using Shakeology as meal replacement, by all means, by all means, you know, um, th- my daily routine, this is my daily routine, okay? Um, I get up in the morning, energize, I do my workout, I drink my recover, I take a shower. By the time I'm done taking my shower, I'm making my Shakeology. So, I mean, we're talking like a 15 minute gap, maybe 10 minute gap, you know, do my hair. Um, you know, just, I, I'm, there's not a large gap in between recovering and, and Shakeology for me. So, but, but my Shakeology is my breakfast every day. So, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to, it's hard to say. I mean, people, I know people that use Shakeology post-workout as a post not as like a recovery formula, but they drink their Shakeology after they work out. Right. So. Okay. I have a question. Absolutely. Um, Let's say you're going to do Shakeology and recover. So I guess two questions. Does recover count as a red? And do you count that if you're doing a portion fix kind of plan? Awesome question. Okay. So this was, this, this made people's head spin. There's two types of people in the world. Okay. There's portion control container people in the world and then there's the macro people in the world okay right yeah so my other question was going to be how much protein is too much protein if you're following the macros what are you following i kind of go back and forth personally i kind of like the macros a little bit better i hate to say that but i just don't the, it's true. i don't i'm not a huge fan of the containers i hate to say that i just i kind of get macros a little yeah. more no i mean that that may, that and that that works for you. Okay. There's people who I know who say they look at macros. They're like, Holy crap. I can't even do that math. You know what I mean? Um, but then it, there's people that look at the color containers and say, oh, I, I can't even do, I can't count to three, you know? Uh, you know so, <laughs> all right. So when we were doing the test group, the test group for 22 minute hardcore, that question came up and this is what they said. The performance formulas were freebies. Ooh. And, I, and like people, and, yeah, and people like myself were like, "Oh, cool." And then you got 
jerks like Mark Briggs, who I love Mark Briggs, by the way. If anybody knows Mark, he, he and I, we're, we're accountability partners. Anyway, Mark's big macro guy. He's like, oh, that's wrong because that's 20 grams of protein. And you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, man, he killed it. So it was a monster debate throughout the entire eight weeks about freebies versus you got to count them. So they wanted us to do the, the portion fix containers during that. So I'm type A. You tell me to do something, I'm going to do it. So I was doing the portion fix containers and I was not counting any of the performance formulas as any containers while I was doing a pro program. So if you got someone who's just doing like challenges your and doing whatever they want to do, um, they got to do that. They got to, they got to count it. Okay. Cause I don't think the challenge du jour is set up properly. Um, and I've always told my customers. So if you have a customer who's, I don't want to say if they're smart enough, but if they pick up on the fact that like, you know, Hey, I'm counting calories and stuff like that. How does this work into, you know, and they question you say, Hey, listen, you know, Beachbody spends a lot of money to hire very smart people who figure this stuff out for us. Okay. So they're and they're adamant. They, they had all the nutrition people from Beachbody say, even Dr. Niemer say that the performance formula, as long as you are doing a program, you're following the regimen with the nutrition, the performance formulas, are freebies try try that one on someone who does macros though just be aware okay i'm gonna warn you now they're not gonna like that answer okay um hey i i followed it like they told me to i had i was pretty happy with my results in eight weeks so but you know i lost six pounds but i also lost 15 inches throughout my waist and arms and thighs and all that stuff so i was very happy with the results i got and also counting them as freebies so was that both your questions answered? That was both of my questions. Thanks. No, you're welcome. Is, are there any other questions about anything I've covered so far? Because I'm about to get to the grand finale of my favorite, my favorite supplement of the performance formula. And I'm going to spend, uh, this is my baby. So are there any questions about energize, hydrate, recover, or creatine? Actually, Jillian, did I answer those questions? Let me, if, let me ask that question. Are there any questions first about those? You guys all good? Thumbs up on those? All right, cool. So here are some of the questions that Jillian sent me before I get to, re to, to recharge. All right, so I'm pretty familiar with Energize, and I can answer most questions about it with potentials, uh, but I'm not as familiar with Hydrate. Common questions I get about Hydrate is that if it has amino acids, BCAA is, <laughs> and if not, then why is it important to have it? All right. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know the. I don't even know what a BCAA is. And um, I, I, I've been using Beachbody um, products for the, like the last nine years. I've been a coach for eight years, but I've been using the products for a year before I became a coach. And I trust them. Okay, uh, I've dealt with some medical issues in the past with cholesterol, high blood pressure. <laughs> I use our stuff and it works. Um, I, I don't. I don't use a lot of supplements over the counter. So I, 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 it's not fair for me to, to speak on behalf of other supplements. So I apologize. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, now the question was, what is the benefit of drinking Recover uh, as opposed to just taking amino complex su supplements? Again, I don't, I don't have that answer because I don't, I don't use that product, um, nor have I ever. Uh, and the last question is, is it necessary to use the entire line or can someone benefit from just one or two of the products? And that answer is yes. And I'm going to, co I'll come back to that question after I talk about recharge. Okay. Recharge. Who has never tried recharge? A lot of hands going up. Okay. A tub of that stuff is very expensive. All right. I'm not going to lie, but you know what? The stuff is, is worth gold. Okay. And, and, and basically, um, I started using the recharge in the beginning with just plain water in the shaker bottle. I'm like, Oh, that stuff's gross. Cause it, it was all chalky and it's like, it's been, it's got a vanilla flavor by the way. Um, so anyway, shortly after we, um, we filmed 22 minute hardcore, I did a weekend retreat with uh, Tony in New York and Tony shared his recharge recipe. So you might want to run this. If you use recharge, you got to try this. Okay. You're going to want to, you're going to want to try this recipe. So Tony said, use unsweetened, unsweetened almond milk or almond coconut milk or coconut milk, 
six ounces, six ounces. All right. Scoop of recharge, quarter cup of raw cashews, raw cashews, not salted cashews, raw cashews. All right. And a half cup of blueberries. Okay. And three ice cubes. You put that in your little magic bullet. Blend that baby up and you let it sit for 45 seconds. Why do you let it sit for 45 seconds? Well, something happens in 45 seconds where it starts to gelatinize, okay? And it becomes like, um, shoot, what does that call it? Like a sherbet? Not sherbet. Oh, Lord. It's, it's like pudding, okay? So it becomes this like gelatin pudding and you just have to eat it slow. Okay, and you and you eat it a half hour before you go to bed, and it tastes like raspberry, even though the blueberries in it taste like raspberry, and it's so good. And you 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 drink that at night, go to bed. Is stuff in it that help like helps you sleep. All right, I am someone statistically who cannot sleep very well. Okay, I did two years in a combat zone. I'm jumpy. Okay, true story. Sometimes I don't sleep well because my mind's racing. All right, I introduced that into my regiment, July 2015, and I sleep better at night more than I don't sleep better at night. So I, I'm not someone for medication. Fitness is my coping mechanism for PTSD, and I've never used anything other than fitness. Okay, so recharge. Something's in it that makes me sleep better. Something's in it that is like 20 grams of protein, okay, plus the cashews and blueberries and then someone killed it and said oh how do we how do we use the portion control containers to i'm like no just 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 don't it's freebie i'm going to give you a freebie the blueberries and the raw cashews and the three ice cubes and the almond milk oh actually autumn did that a couple months ago she she made she blessed almond milk and said it's 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 doesn't count for anything or it's not a yellow anymore um so that that now I told you earlier that I work out 5 a.m. So, you know, if you drink this before you go to bed, um, if you drink it before you go to bed, you know, you're going to, I'll wake up in the morning and there's at least something in my system. Someone just, uh, hang on a second. Almond milk is a teaspoon. Oh, there you go. Thank you. That's right. I don't know. When you're six foot one and you're 190 pounds, I got like seven teaspoons. So I can drink an entire half gallon of almond milk and, uh, that's my daily supplement. Um, anyway. Um, yeah. So that's, that's the recharge. All right. And I personally enjoy recharge the most because I think again, for the sleep. All right. We, we, as coaches, we preach, okay. We preach fitness and we preach nutrition. Does anybody know what the third thing that we should be preaching is? You guys are all muted. My bad. Sleep. Okay. Rest. That is something that is just as important as fitness. It's just as important as nutrition. So if you guys haven't been doing this, start tonight. Start helping your clients, you know, share with your coaches the benefits of sleep and rest. <clears throat> because if people are exercising good and people are eating well and they're losing weight, they feel great. But if they're getting less than six hours of sleep at night, guess what they're doing? And this is a this is a New England medicine statistic if you're not getting if you're not getting more than six hours of sleep on average at night you are quadrupling your chances of getting type 2 diabetes regardless regardless how healthy you work out and how healthy you eat okay so pledge tonight that you're going to get seven to eight hours of sleep a night from here on out okay because that's super important. Okay, we're not doing anybody any justice if we're like, hey, drink Shakeology. Hey, do the performance formula. Hey, you know, work out every day. Hey, you know, get seven, eight hours sleep a night too. All right. Um, yeah. So that's that's the whole gamut with the re, with the performance line. Now, one of the a, a question a question that hasn't been asked to me. Um, and I'm surprised is how do you promote? Does anybody know how you promote the performance line to someone at the price that they sell it for? You tell them it tastes like a Yoohoo. Tastes like a Yoohoo. <laughs> Game over. Thank you very much. No. Um, and guys, just real quick, you can get a sampler pack. You don't have to buy. So if you've never tried it, cause I saw a lot of hands go up. 
Mm -hmm. You can get a sampler and they put, they now they put the orange and the chocolate recover in the sampler, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm six of them now. So, um, yeah. I, I'm not gonna, I, I, I don't, I sold a lot of performance formula, all right? And I didn't, I didn't send a video to people. All I did was use it, okay? All I did was use it. I, and I told my story. I'm not going to. I'm not going to lie. I was skeptical as a mofo. I was like, "This is not. I am not going to spend a hundred because I only did. I do the four. I don't do creatine on auto ship. I do. I do energize, hydrate, recover, and recharge on an auto ship every month. Um, actually, we do three tubs of energize <laughs> and three tubs of recover per month because between my wife and I, and if we did double workouts and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so. I was very skeptical in the beginning. I was like, I, I you know, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use it until we film and then I'm done. Um, and two years later, I'm still using it every single month. Um, I take it everywhere I go. I took it to Putacana with me. I take it into summit. I take it on my trips. I take it to Disney. Um, I use it every single day. The way I promote it in my challenge groups. Okay. I just use it. Okay. I do live videos. And I'll do a live video drinking my recover. And I might say, hey, this, yeah, this is my yoo Or I might say, I'm getting ready for my workout and shake the bottle up and say, I love this stuff. Who? And I'll say, and I'll ask the question. I say, who loves this? And I know I have challengers who use it. I have a lot of challengers who do the energize recover combo. Okay. That's probably the most common of all my, my home direct uh, performance formula clients. It's, it's the energize recover um, combo. All right. I only have, I only have maybe two or three people who are doing the entire, the entire stack and stuff. So, but the main question is if you're going to, if you're going to try to promote it, um, use it. Okay. Um, use it and, and don't throw up about it. Just share what, what it feels for you. I mean, if it's something that's helping you with your sleep, by all means, do it. If you if you're less sore post workout, especially if 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 none of you have tried this before, and you're doing a program, you know what? <clears throat> Invest in yourself. Treat yourself. You guys are all working hard, okay? You're you're working hard. Take 150 dollars and spend it on yourself, okay? And and try it. Try it out for a month. And it's got that bottom of the bottle thing too. If it doesn't work for you, send send it back. But I I I'll promise you that you'll definitely tell a difference if you're doing like a 21 day fix extreme shift shop, um, 22 minute hardcore, obviously. Um, but any of those programs, if you, if you, if you use that, if you use it faithfully, it becomes part of your routine. Like I'm sure each and every one of you right now, you have your workout regimen, right? Like, you know, anybody like, like for me, <laughs> I'm the biggest procrastinator when it comes to getting my, it probably takes me about 20 minutes to get started in a workout because oh, I'll check Facebook one more time or Instagram and, you know, I'll get my Roku out and, oh, let's see what's on this channel. You know, I'm just kind of, I don't know, just, I fought around too much and then my energy is like worn off. No. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, try it out. If, especially, especially if you're doing a program especially if you're doing a program that you've done before in the past, that would be a great litmus test to see, to compare how it went the first time versus how that round's going for you this time. Also just reminded me of something. Energize. If you guys, how many of you are doing live videos? Okay. A couple of you doing live videos on your, on your wall, on your own personal Facebook, do a live video on energize. And check out how many comments and people will, people will notice that, you know, you're, you're, you know, it's, I don't know. People know when I'm, when I'm on energized, when I do a live video, cause they're like, dude, you said some stuff that you should probably shouldn't have said, or, you know, I can't believe you said that it comes up a lot. And it's usually, it's usually because of energized. That's that I'm, I'm sticking to that. So but anyway, does anyone have, I think I, I had a couple little bullet points here. Um, when that last question about, you know, do, do they have to use the entire stack? No. Um, 
it, and I'm not, I'll, I'll say this right now. Unless you guys are doing body beast, I don't think any of you guys need to do creatine. All right. Um, if you haven't tried it already, it's really not going to make it. I don't think it's, unless you're doing body beast, if you're looking for that definition, if you if you really want that definition, by all means go for the creatine. All right. It, it, it's, it's like a, it's a kind of a band aid. It's not, it's not going to last forever. Okay. So as soon as you stop using the creatine, you lose that kind of results. Okay. They're very hard to maintain. I'm in my forties. Okay. It's very hard to maintain uh, any kind of definition when, when I, when I stop doing the, the, the creatine. Um, if I'm looking for like, you know, I'm not doing, I'm not jumping up on stage and flexing. That's that those days are long gone for me. Um, but you know, if you, if you're someone who's going to summit and you're going to do the, the I don't even know the name of it. Um, you know, if you, if the beach body classic. Thank you very much. See, I don't even know what the name of it. So I wouldn't even tempt that sucker, but you know, um, energize is, they got something in that little yellow powder, man. I'm telling you, it, I, I'm never going to, I can't, I don't see myself ever not using Energize. Um, but yeah, so try it out. I, I, I you know, and, and like Jillian said, get the sample pack, you know, get the sample pack and um, give it a whirl. Use it all in one day because you only get a day supply. You know, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a good workout, don't use it on a rest day. Um, use it during a workout and, 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 and test it, you know, um, like Shakeology, you probably won't know, notice a huge difference in one day. Um, so maybe three days worth would be kind of cool or, or pair up if you guys want to share something. So hang on one second. I'm just going to check the chat real quick. There's a, I got a couple of things here. Um, so I started using me too. So, Carla said she started the auto ship for Energize. Did you get it already, Carla? Candy. No. No. No, oh, Carla. No, Carla did. Oh, sorry. Carla. Yeah, I've actually been using Energize for a while, and I started to realize that I've been getting it more and more often. So I figured last month that I just do auto ship and might as well just do it that way. Do you do one scoop or two? I do too. All right, here's the tip. I start off with one scoop, and that's when I wasn't doing the auto ship. And when I started doing two scoops, that's when I realized, okay, I'm better off just doing it on auto ship. All right, here's a tip for you, okay? Um, I'll give you two tips. Do a scoop and a half. A scoop and a half will, will make it 30 servings, okay? okay. A, sc a scoop and a half will make it 30 servings. Also, when you get to the end of the bottle, when you get to the end of the bottle, Mm -hmm. Is all this is like this is like I don't know I get every little speckle of yellow energized so I'll take eight ounces of water and I'll pour it inside it and then I just, did the same thing just, yeah okay cool that, that, <laughs> you you have a problem by the way that's that's I that's do. the sign of a, a, a dedicated energized user so you <laughs> yes. should probably talk to someone at Summit about that so okay <laughs> let me see if there's another question here. Um, how much energize is too much? Asking for a friend. Who? Oh, hang on a second. Who asked that question? Chrissy. I'm the last person you should ask. There's days where I do four scoops, um, and and two of those scoops might be just because I'm just because because I want to drink it. I don't know. I, I I wouldn't go more than four scoops. I I I personally will not go more than four scoops. So I don't know. That's that's. I'm usually not just drinking Energize to sit down and like watch television. I'll, I'll, if I'm like going on a hike, I'll use Energize. Um, if, if I'm going to be uh, playing softball, I play softball in a men's league on Sunday mornings, Energize. I played old man league. And they're like, dude, what's that? Is that legal? I'm like, yep. You know, I'll run the bases like, you know, like Speedy Gonzalez and stuff. But, um, but yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I wouldn't go more than four scoops. Yeah, that's not what <laughs> I, I start doing. seeing like, colors of four scoops. What's that? Like, I, I do two scoops for my workout in the morning, and then, like, around 3 o'clock, my kids start to, like, run me into the ground, and I'm dying, so I'll drink it again. Do you but drink coffee? I never go more than four scoops. <laughs> do you drink coffee? I, I never took four scoops at once, by the way. I, I want to make that clear. Oh, too. God, no. <laughs> um, do you drink coffee? Not, uh, not all the time, but yeah, if so I do, yeah. I drink black coffee. Okay. Um, back before they got rid of the E and E, 
I thought it was I thought it was smart to mix Energize and E and E together, and that was dumb. Um, <laughs> but we don't have E and E anymore, so we're safe. You mix don't, them? Yeah. That oh was, my god! I just I just wanted to test it out, you know. So <laughs> I don't. I I did it once, I, maybe twice. I'm and a I thought, one scooper. I don't. I'm a non coffee drinker like you, yeah. and I'm a one scooper and. Um, I've not gone like public with this because I don't really want the backlash, but my, I'm, you know, I'm six months pregnant. My OB yep. said as long as I'm under my 200 milligrams a day, I can have my one scoop, which is only a hundred milligrams. So Perfect. I still, I still do take it. I still use the recover. There's really nothing I can't use. Um, I have to be honest though. I felt the same way as you. I did not love the recharge, but I heard Tony talk about his recipe on the cruise. I feel like, and um, I haven't tried it, but, oh, it's but awesome. I need to. It's, it's I was gonna good. ask too. Can I ask how awesome is Tony? Is that like off topic? Because he's my absolute favorite. What you see with Tony Horton is what you get. Um, he's like that in real life. Um, so Tony, Tony started off. You know, he was like my first like mentor in Beachbody. Um, at first, I was like, who is this guy? Because I had, I had no clue about the coaching thing. Uh, I was introduced to P90X because I started to plateau in my fitness regimen uh, shortly after I came home from my first deployment. And they're like, dude, you got to try this P90X thing. I'm like, I'm not working out at home. Um, so I remember the first time I was introduced to Tony, I was like, who is this guy? I'm like, really? And, um, and then I started, he, I, I felt like, you know, it, like when we do a workout program, regardless of whatever program, everybody's kind of uh, leans towards a specific trainer. So you ask yourself, who's your trainer? Um, so I, I felt like I knew Tony, you know, in the, during the P90X. And then over the years, um, Mark Briggs is my upline. And Mark's been in, like, everything pretty much Tony's created. And um, that's how I got introduced to meeting Tony. Uh, long story short, after my second tour to Iraq, I, I flew a flag on Tony's birthday. And I signed the flag from where, where, where it was flown, the date. And I was able to present that to him at an event in Connecticut. And Tony just remembered that Tony likes gifts that you can't buy. Um, and that's something he couldn't buy. And I had a plaque, excuse me. Um, sorry. And, uh, and that's how he and I started working more together. And then we were on the cruise, uh, the first, I don't know, 2014 maybe. And um, Mark was up on stage on the ship with Juan from spec ops and I had my boonie cap over and I was doing P90 X three. And I went, we went over and say hi to Tony before the workout. And he said, Hey, we're doing the warrior today. Do you, I'd love to have you up on stage. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> and that's how it all began. Uh, and then we, the four of us did the warrior workout and, and then just, I was, I was, I got my wife and I were invited to his wedding and it was just, it's just been a really cool, you know, I'll be hanging out with him in two weeks at, in Rhinebeck, New York. So, you know, and then summit this year and stuff. And it's just, it's just, he's a real person. He's just, you know, he's, he's now moved from mentor. He's a friend and um, he's just, he's, he's a wicked down to earth guy. So. I also think he's reverse aging. <laughs> the guy is like uh, unbelievable strength. He's like, <laughs> he looks he's, better than he did in P90X. And I'm like, uh, I don't, you clearly yeah. are older, but not really. He's, he's going, he's like Benjamin Button. I'm telling you, he's just, you know, he's, you can't, I mean, there's, there's, we, we, he's very competitive, obviously, if you guys haven't noticed already. Um, but he's just, um, he, he's just, be smart. If he ever invites you to a workout, be smart. Pace yourself because it's a long workout. <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint. But, um, you know, he's just a great guy. And again, it's, it's just been, it's been, it's been the, the complete highlight of my beach body career being able to work with him. Um, you know, I feel like he's done for me, uh, in my coping and struggles with PTSD, he's been a major, uh, coping mechanism in, in helping and stuff like that. What he does for veterans and stuff like that's just amazing. So yeah. Cool that's question. Awesome. Yeah, I, cool I question. love him. He's like, I did P90X forever <clears throat> well before I was a coach. Um, and I was like, this guy is something else. And I, yeah. I just, yeah. he's so, so cool. I've, I've only met him for like a second when I 
like had a photo op or something. I haven't had a chance to socialize with him, but he's my favorite. Hopefully, yeah, he's genuine. He's genuine and stuff. So I heard he has a new program coming out. I know you probably can't talk about it, but that's the rumor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi. No. Um. Maybe. Yeah, he's got a couple more in him. So, um, I will not deny or confirm, but uh, I, 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 I'm not in the next one. So, but there's might be something announced at Summit. So that's what I hear. And it's going to be completely different. So it's something different. I'm so. hoping they put me back. I ruined my test group chances when I, you know, was busted for quarter force because I was in that test group. Yeah. Injured. And now I'm pregnant, so I'm hoping that maybe they'll let me in the next one. We'll see, which would be awesome. Be Tony's program because my mom is obsessed with Ten Minute Trainer. Yeah. Oh, nice. She likes nice. she likes the Ten Minute program, so and nice. she thinks he's hilarious, which I would agree. So. Yeah. Yeah. Is anybody you guys? Where's is everybody in, from New England? No, or no, not from no. New England? Is, wow. I was gonna say anybody who lives in New England in you got some time next that weekend up in Rybeck, New York is unbelievable. It's better than summit. What is it? It's the Omega Institute. So we hang out, we get there Friday afternoon and it goes till Sunday afternoon and it's, and it's Tony in your face, the entire, it's a very small under a hundred people and we have a lot of fun doing it. So it's just, it's really cool. Awesome. And so, Look into that. I hadn't even heard of it. Cool. I'll post I'm just, yeah. Oh, so there's people from Florida. I didn't realize Florida, California. Holy crap. Um, I'm just reading another. My guess is a workout length. I can definitely ask Shift Shop this week, though. Um, yeah, Sarah said they cut hydrate the first week of Shift Shop, but I know the first week of Shift Shop is only 25 minutes. So maybe that's why. I'm guessing probably why. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, if you're doing like a t under 30 minute workout, hydrate is kind of a excuse me it's it's irrelevant it's not that's my personal opinion water is just as good um i notice when i'm doing um p90x2 yeah i need hydrate i want hydrate badly because especially I'm, I'm in phase three right now and anybody who's ever done p90x2 phase three is the pap workouts post activation potentiation if you're looking for a good workout one day and you want to try something kind of different do one of those workouts. It's PAP upper and it's PAP lower. Holy crap. Let's try it out. Let me know. Let me send me a message and tell me what you think. So, but we're all, I'm on hold. I'm doing, I'm doing this Sean week. And so I'm putting week 11 on hold P9X2 and doing Sean week. And five minutes this morning, I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> My quads are on fire. So are there any other questions? Anything? That's Feel free to unmute and, and chat. I promise he doesn't bite hard. So no. I'm actually a nice guy. People think I'm, I'm intimidating. I'm really, no, say hi. Actually, before I asked you, I went to Carrie and asked if she thought it'd be okay if I messaged her. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I guess I'll confirm that. She's like, yeah, you can message him. Yeah, come on, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Anyone have anything? No other questions? I had a question. So, just, oh, Katie has got a question. Sorry. That's right. I had a question about the recover. The other part of it that um, I understood was there's a anti-inflammatory property in it, and that's supposed to help with muscle soreness too. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't misunderstanding that. Because <laughs> I've told somebody that because that's what i understood i don't so so it was, it was someone who had some kind of anti-inflammatory issue oh no just um that it helps with um the soreness that happens with your muscles after a workout so it cuts down on the soreness so yeah that that's a safe thing when you start talking about like um anything digestive okay we are not qualified <laughs> Everybody's different. You know what I mean? Um, I always tell everybody, you know, definitely the, the, the default answer is always check with your primary care physician. Right. Mm -hmm. Show them the, the, the ingredients, show them the nutrition facts and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, the recover is meant for muscle recovery. Okay. Um, pretty much the entire performance formula focuses on performance. You're, you're, it's, it's, it's healing. 
Mm-hmm. It's, it's a, you know, uh, just to jump back to Tony, Tony's a mega supplement, dude. I mean, I think that contributes to a lot of his, as he ages, you know, his, his, his being able to, to do 50 pull-ups in five minutes and craziness, you know, but um, yeah, that, that's, that, that's the main focus of the recovery formula. Thank you. You're welcome. It is delicious. Like I'm not a chocolate psychology person, but the chocolate recover is amazing. Yeah. I like, I t- I'll take the cover off and it's got the shaker ball. So I always remember to take out the shaker ball cause you'll chip your tooth or something. But uh, yeah, I try to get the entire, like, you know, last drop of that chocolate and stuff. So my husband will refill the bottle bottle with water and have like bottom of the recover. It looks like poop water. I'm like, what do you, don't you want to rinse that? He's like, nope. Smart, smart man. That's, a, <laughs> that's dedicated right there. He loves so, that. So we just nice. that. Nice. Uh, and Jillian, just to get back to uh, how you're talking about, I think you were going to say it, but you f- didn't finish it. Being pregnant. If you are dealing with pregnant clients, um, I would be very, very careful. Again, safe, safety, safety, safety. Have them check with their OB um, and and get the green light from them. Okay. Cause yeah, even when I, I post things, oh. guys. What's that? <laughs> What? In nursing. I was about to ask the same question. I I, I actually. Do you freeze? No. I um, I actually just had um, somebody ask me about this line who's nursing. And so I was trying to figure out, you know, that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm on this call tonight. Pediatrician. Check with a pediatrician. So. And this is where I have a really, really difficult time because, like, you know, sometimes pediatricians are afraid to look at nutrition. This is a whole other call, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you right now, the, the two biggest serial killers in this country is the Food and Drug Administration and the pharmaceutical companies. And they got all our doctors like puppets, okay? They're all timed. Doctors don't have a lot of time to sit down and go over nutrition facts with you that they don't know. So they might look at a performance formula and they might just say, all they see is supplement. Blah. You know, and they're afraid to look and they're afraid to give you an answer. Yet that same person who's going to walk out of that doctor's office is going to go to the drive through at McDonald's and put all that crap in their system and then nurse their child. I mean, it's, it's a very, very, very um, fine line kind of thing. You know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. You know, is it safe for, I mean, I don't know how much protein goes through breast milk and stuff like that, but you know, baby's got little kidneys and that's my main, that's, that's the only thing I can think of that really, you know, be an issue if it's, if it's too much protein, but they need to grow too. So, and you know, babies grow two thirds of their initial birth weight in the first year. So, um, it, it's you know there's there's a lot of there's a lot of gray areas when it comes to that but i always say you know hey give the give the obstetrician or the pediatrician the benefit of the doubt and and have them check with them first my midwife happens to be a beach body customer not mine i didn't yep. know she was but when i brought in my psychology she was like oh yeah that stuff's amazing i drink it all the time and like she was like everything that they put out is perfectly safe for you and i was like oh she told me no caffeine my first trimester, so I couldn't have energized, but I couldn't have coffee, like <clears throat> anything. Um, but she happened to know, but I totally agree. A lot of them are just afraid. And so it's okay to like ask to look into it further. But even when I post things on social media about what I'm doing, I kind of put something at the bottom that says, please check with your own yes. person. So. Hey, Julian, all three of my kids were born by midwives. No, I have, I mean, I have a doctor too, cause I have that pelvis thing, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to happen with me. Um, but yeah, I, I have a midwife I really like, but I didn't, she was, you know, she just happens to be a beach body customer. So she had looked nice. into it, but I would totally, I a hundred percent agree. I think a lot of them <clears throat> are just afraid, Yeah. but, then, but then, then you're going to McDonald's and it's like, okay, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
or Dunkin yeah. Donuts and get a culotta or something that's got 700 right. calories of sugar. Right. But anyway, no, yeah. that's a whole other, that's a whole other yeah. <laughs> Pandora's box animal. I could, I could, yeah, I could talk about all that crap too. So that's the other thing. When you get to hang around with Tony, you get to hear his philosophies and stuff and they get embedded into your brain. No. Crazy. Any other questions? Well, if I see you and him at Summit, I'm walking up and saying hello because I love him. So. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Seriously? Nothing? Thank you for taking the time. Hey, anytime. No, seriously. I, this is, uh, I enjoy, I enjoy, uh, you know, chatting with coaches and stuff like that. And, you know, just, uh, can I just, can I just give my own little, little uh, preach? Okay. Yeah. So guys, listen. There's a lot of beach body coaches out there. All right. There's a lot of beach body coaches out there. And there's a lot of beach body coaches out there who do bad things. All right. There's a lot of beach body coaches out there who do things that make us all look bad. All right. When you're going out there, please, please, please use compassion. All right. Use compassion when you're working with someone. If someone comes up to you, okay, usually that person is lacking hope. And we have the gift to give them hope. They probably tried five to 10 other things with a mosquito on my, I'm sorry. They probably tried five or 10 other things that have failed. Okay. Probably because they didn't have a coach. All right. So don't look at that person as two points. If, if they just want the all access, don't push Shakeology. Don't push the performance formula because you're going to get two successful points. Okay. Um, yes. One of my stats is 61 months of success club. I stopped trying for success club. Oh my God. Sorry guys. I stopped trying to go for the success club a year ago. All right. Uh, it's a, I, to me, it's a curse. Uh, I'm sorry. It, it's, it's something that it's a shiny object. Try using compassion. You won't even have to go for success club because it's just going to come to you. All right. Again, work with those individuals, <clears throat> give them the hope. Okay. Each and every one of you probably have had some kind of success from a beach body program. All you need to do is be you. Okay. Don't try to be Melanie Metro. Don't try to be Wayne Wyatt. Don't try to be Mike Mullally. Don't try to be any of these top coaches that you're not. Okay. Be you. Nobody can be a better coach at you than you. All right. Go out and find your avatar. Okay. You may or may not have heard this. Okay. What's an avatar? An avatar is a customer or a coach that is just like you. All right. So the way, the simplest way to find that person is, is to find five things about yourself that make who you are. Okay. So five, five things about you. <clears throat> okay. I'm a dad. All right. I'm a husband. I'm a veteran. I'm a nurse. I got PTSD. Those that's my target. Okay. I'm not looking for stay at home moms. Okay. That's just not my, that's not my avenue. Okay. Um, so find your target. Okay. Not everybody's coachable. Sometimes, sometimes you have to tell people, no, if you invest in people and interview people, and make sure these are someone that you want to work with, okay? If there's someone that you don't see yourself working with, let them go, all right? Let them go, whether it's a customer or a client. Your time is valuable, all right? Your time is valuable. It's quantity over quality. I mean, quality over quantity, all right? All right, back in the day, I signed anybody who had 1495 in a heart rate, okay? They were mine. I was a shark, all right? Those days are gone, all right? I, I, I burned a lot of bridges doing that. All right. I changed my ways. And now some of my coaches are some of my best friends. All right. And we are helping people with compassion, use integrity. Okay. That's another big one. Use integrity and stuff. And that's it. Commissions are great. Cycle bonuses are awesome. But when you least expect it and you get that random text message, that random email, that random phone call from the person you decided to help one day, or they decided they wanted help from you. That's when it, that, that's when it counts the most. Okay. You don't have to be 15 star. You don't have to be Emerald. You just have to be in the moment. Okay. And then that, that is a special moment that you'll take moving forward in your coaching career. All right. Thank you. That's a, that's a, I'm sorry. I just want to go freestyle for a second. No, I, I just, love that's... that. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I was just telling my team the other day, I had someone that was really skeptical of Shakeology and so I gave her a wake up call to listen to so she could like understand the nutrition. And she says, she said to me, I can't get through that, all that rah, rah team shit. I hate supporting others like that. 
and I, I, that's not someone I want on my team. Right. No, so I just no. said like, I appreciate your time, but I, you know, I don't Please. think we're the right team for you. Perfect. Perfect. And so I tell, I tell you guys that all the time. <clears throat> I think I shared that on our team page. Like you don't, I, you, you need to find your tribe and who yeah. they are. Just so. raise your hand, raise your hand real quick. If you love being a team beach body coach, you love it. Okay. All right. This is what happens guys. All right. This is what happened last year during the, uh, the, I forgot the name of the summer. I don't know. It was a 22 minute hardcore summer challenge group that corporate held. Okay. I tried to stay under the wire. Someone recognized me and it was, it was done. I met a lot of people put it that way. There was like 3000 people in the group. A lot of people started asking me coach questions or, you know, or, or, or questions about help. You know, can you help me with this? And I said, you know, who's your coach? And like, well, I don't know who my coach is. You know, I haven't heard back from my coach since I signed up as a coach. All right. These people were frustrated. Okay. These are the people who are probably going to quit in three months. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to talk bad about our company because someone signed them up for two points. Okay. Or they told them they had to be a coach to get 25% discount. Did you guys know? Did you guys know this? That discount, you can make more money, more money signing someone up with a challenge pack versus signing them up as a discount coach. Did you guys know that? Because they're going to get, it's a win-win situation for everybody because they're going to get 10% discount. You're going to make a commission. Okay. They don't have to pay the coach fee. If, if this is, if this is someone who strictly does not want to be a you know, they, they want, they think the 25% discount is better. It's actually not when you incorporate the coach fee in there and then you'll get commissions versus volume that will take two months to cycle. So that's just another thing too. I'm a, I'm a numbers nerd. And that's, that's, that those are some of the numbers that we've crunched in the past and stuff. So um, it's a win-win situation when someone, if you really want to save them money, it's another Avenue a, a, a selling point is that, you know, they'll save more money as a, as a 10% you know, customer versus signing up for the 25. I mean, maybe they'll pay $2 more, but they won't have to worry about the recurrent coach fee and stuff like that. Now that it's all access. So. Anything else? All right, guys, thank you for listening. I hope, I hope you learned something tonight and uh, I hope you take a stab at the performance line because it's really good. I really enjoy it. I work for the company, but you know, I'm not attached to any of you guys, so I'm not, I'm not, you know, I, I, I just love this stuff that much. I'm very passionate about, you know, the products that we have and the products that work. So, and those, those are definitely, those are, those are gold ringers. So. Okay. Right. Any last questions? All right. All right. Thanks. Thank Mike. you. This was awesome. Really appreciate it. Good night, guys. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. All right. Have a good one.